Okay, this is going to be the first test of my new DJI Flame Wheel 450 with the NASA and the GPS module. On board this helicopter, I have a Immersion RC 5.8 gigahertz downlink video transmitter. And we also have a uh, camera by Spico Technologies. It has a 3.7 millimeter lens with a full on screen display for backlighting and could change uh, settings as needed. Okay, I placed the NASA dead center as uh, you know required. Centered everything uh, according to the manuals. Got a lot of help from fellow YouTubers helping set this thing up. It's a little bit of a learning curve with this. And uh, let's see how she does. Right now, it's sitting in a 10-foot marked area on a baseball field here. And uh, it's pretty windy right now. I'd say we have, uh, you know, between 8 to 12 mile an hour winds going on right now. Let's take a look and see what's doing here. And we definitely have 8 to 10 mile an hour winds going on here. It's breezing up quite good. See how accurate this thing actually is and if it actually lands within uh, this 10 foot circle here. Uh, over here, I've set up a tripod with a Foxtech 7 inch monitor. It's running off a LiPo battery. And uh, there's the video image, if you could see it. It's staring right at my transmitter right now. This is a Foxtech monitor. And I'm running an immersion receiver on the back of it. With a uh, Zippy 2200 LiPo pack. All right, let's get this thing up in the air and see how accurate she actually is. We have the transmitter right here on the ground and we're in GPS mode. And as you can see, the green light is flashing in GPS mode. She's holding pretty stable in a nice breeze. So, pretty happy with that so far. Hopefully she stays there. I gotta do this before the battery runs out. Small little lipo here. Um, Alright, so let's see uh, what the video looks like. Let's zoom out. She's up there. She's holding steady. Once again, transmitter on the ground. Let's take a look over here and see what we have here on the image. Okay, she's transmitting back video. Looks like she's tilting a little bit, but she's self-correcting, which is uh, pretty cool. All right, so that's cool. Now what we'll do is we'll, we'll go out a little further, and we'll activate the fail-safe, which is the uh, return to home, and let's see how accurate she actually is. All right. Let's see if I could do this. Um, I actually have to put the camera down. It's not going to be easy. I'll pause and then I'll okay, now, activate it. Uh, let me zoom back. You can see I'm way out there. Easy 150 feet away. Uh, let me zoom in. 150 feet away. She's hovering. She's holding pretty steady. All right. Now. I'm going to zoom out here. Hold on, let me zoom out. She's way out there. And I'm going to activate my fail safe mode, which is straight up and pray. Here goes nothing. Okay, we're in fail safe. She should be flashing yellow now. And she's rising. Where'd she go? There she is, she's going up. All right, she's looking, looking for home. 
looking for home. Oh, please stop. Don't fly over the neighbor's houses. All right, there we go. All right, there he is. You see the light flashing? She's looking for her home spot. Let me uh, zoom out. She's hovering still. She's hovering. And well, well, there's my transmitter. There's the circle. Let's see what happens. Where is she? There she is. She's coming home. Coming home. See how accurate this thing is. In a nice wind, too, by the way. Well, you know what? Not, not too bad. Not too shabby for a nice wind and a nice breeze. It actually uh, probably from center. I'd say from center, she's about two, two and a half, three feet from center where she took off. And that's in a, uh, a steady five to eight miles an hour now, the wind is. All right, so um, she actually does what she's supposed to do. Thanks uh, to all you YouTubers out there who helped with the setup and the learning curve of this machine. Um, the manuals aren't that crystal clear, but after you go through them a few times and you pick a lot of brains, it all comes together. All right, uh, Augie, thanks for all your help with some of the uh, compass settings. And uh, everybody enjoy their quads.